news time. Information is power. Be current. The news headline. Buari Ips add ship on Nigerians as the others taxing of all digital transactions. As Nigerians continue to complain about the digital uh, transaction, however, in between the hardship in the country, President Muhammad Buhari has ordered the deployment of technology uh, to tax digital transactions carried out across the country. A move that would only worsen the financial struggles being faced by Nigerians as a result of the poor state of the economy of the country. President Muhammad Buhari's order was made known by Boss Mustafa, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, SGF, as he disclosed that the President has directed the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, to ensure that digital transactions are taxed. He spoke on Tuesday at the 17th General Assembly and 10th Anniversary of the West Africa Tax Administration Forum. WATAF in Abuja. The Secretary General of the Federation said that FIRS has been empowered to carry out the mandate by the President and the Federal Executive Council, FRC. Nigeria is putting in place measures to ensure that we keep up to date with these developments and answer the question of what to collect and how to collect it. And as far as the digital economy is concerned, he said, therefore, our definition of what to collect whether we call it income tax, digital service tax, or value-added tax, must address the issue of redefining who a taxable person or entity is to accommodate the fact that digital transactions sidetrack the ordinary and traditional understanding of jurisdiction. Also speaking, Mohamed Nami, the FIRS chairman, said that tax regulators and industry stakeholders must rise to the challenge of taxing, taxes, uh, of taxing transactions carried out digitally. While Boss Mustafa, the Secretary General uh, to, the, the Secretary, to the Government of the Federation, disclosed that these directions by the uh, President to the Federal Inland Revenue FIRS must be taken so that uh, the, there can be an ensurement that digital transactions are equally taxed. He says that when you speak of taxing the digital economy, you are talking about an economy without fiscal borders, trade and commerce that transcends our natural geographical delineations. In terms of tax administration, the only way that this can possibly be done with any accuracy and effectiveness is if uh, the challenge is fixed, uh, if it is done you know, digitally, and since the commercial activity itself uh, is also done digitally, and NAMI, who is the FIRS chairman, is trying to say that uh, in terms of tax administration, that the only way this can possibly be done with any accuracy and effectiveness is if they do it digitally, since the commercial activity itself is also done uh, digitally. And tax regulators and other industry stakeholders must therefore rise to the, up to the challenge of being in a position to tap into the stream of opportunity that advancement uh, in science and te technology afford us. In her address, the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, said that Nigeria has not signed the proposal by the Organi Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, on how to address the global challenge of e-commerce taxation because it was not equitable. Our words, as the competent authority in tax matters for Nigeria, I am pleased to say that we have actively participated in the global discourse around the issue of taxation of the digital economy, particularly as it affects the allocation of taxing rights. In this regard, we have continued to contribute our quota in different fora, most importantly at the OECD G20 Inclusive Framework on Base, Erosion and Profit Shifting, otherwise known as Inclusive Framework IF. Let me highlight that the basis of our involvement in that process was the understanding that a coordinated universal solution to the tax challenges of the digitalized economy was necessary and that the solution would be fair and acceptable for all members. We had hoped 
that all jurisdictions would be participating in the project on equal footing and that the agreed solution will benefit all while preserving jurisdiction existing taxing rights which are not aimed at tax digital businesses and that the project would provide universally accepted rules, uh, acceptable rules by consensus. The question therefore arises why has Nigeria not endorsed the OECD proposed solution to the issues affecting the digital economy? Simply put, Nigeria seeks to prioritize the importance of securing a fair deal that provides for equitable global reallocation of profits to all market jurisdictions, and it is our view that the agreement has not met this objective. She therefore highlighted that the OECD proposal set a threshold which covers only multinational enterprises MNEs with 20 billion euros global revenue and above 10 percent profitability which means just about 100 companies across the world are within the scope of the rules. This threshold has left many of the well-known um, multinational enterprises exploiting the digital space out of the scope of Pillar 1 and will significantly reduce and benefits that may accrue to market jurisdiction. In his remarks, the executive chairman of the FIRS, Mr. Mohamed Nami, said that the organization has deployed a new technology tax group max for collection of revenue, which he said has significantly raised its collect June collection to 664 billion naira. He described it as the highest revenue generated by the FIRS in a single month since the outbreak of COVID-19. And therefore, the uh, shocker, as the headline says, is that the uh, taxing of all digital transactions would actually portray hardship on Nigerians because uh, according to the SGF, saying that the FIRS has been empowered to carry out the mandates by the President and the Federal Executive Council, saying that all measures uh, to ensure that they keep to date with this development and answer the question of what to collect and how to collect it as far as digital economy is concerned is in place. Seeing that the tax regulators and other industry stakeholders are advised to rise up to the challenge of being in a position to tap into the stream of opportunity. However, the Minister of Finance and Budget, uh, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, has said that this proposal of the digital uh, taxation has not been signed uh, you know, the proposal by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development on how to address the global challenge of the e-commerce taxation has actually not been signed because it was not equitable. She was trying to say that, although she was pleased that we are actively participating in the global discourse around the issue of taxation, uh, particularly as it affects uh, the allocation of taxing rights. However, that what she needs to highlight is that our involvement in that process was the understanding that a coordinated universal and solution to the tax challenge of the digitalized economy was necessary and that the solution would be fair and acceptable for all members. That they had hoped that all jurisdictions would be participating in the project on equal footing and a great solution. However, this project needs uh, to be universally acceptable you know, by consensus, seeing that Nigeria seeks to prioritize the importance of a fair deal that provides for equitable global reallocation of profits to all market jurisdiction, and it is our view that the agreement has not met this objective, saying that, uh, which means that about 100 companies across the world are still within uh, the scope of these rules. Thanks for listening.